this is an It Came From Gen X video. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. All right, so I'm going to go to Centennial, Colorado. Let me make sure that's right. Yep, Centennial, Colorado. Every week, a group of teens from Cherry Creek High School come together and they go to the Holy Creek Retirement Community. You ask, maybe why? <laughs> mm. Well, these, these why? kids, <laughs> why? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, oh, I got to go to grandma's house, or oh, the old people, this and baby boomers, you know, all those <laughs> phrases that these kids nowadays call us old folks. You kids? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> What these teens are is they're actually very, you know, you know it as well as anybody. If you have a problem with your phone or your computer, give it to your five-year-old nephew. Give it to your, you know, seven-year-old kid. They'll figure it out, especially on these damn phones. Um, but these kids go to the retirement community once a week or maybe twice a month to help out the uh, older folk stay in contact with their families. They help them with Facebook. They help them with questions on FaceTime. If they have printer issues, they help them with printing. If there's computer wow. problems, they'll go and set up. Uh, they'll tear down a computer and set it all back up for them and get it back up and running. And I just I saw this and I'm like, I had to bring it up because yeah. it's such a heartwarming mm -hmm. story. Um, the volunteers are from a group, Generation Technology. It's a nonprofit created by students about three years ago. So it's actually a nonprofit right. that these kids started three or four years ago. Communication through email or Facebook so that people can stay in touch with their relatives. Printers right. are a big issue. And anything you can think of from easy problems like plugging something in to more complicated stuff where it takes us like an hour and a half to get, get them back up and running. So do they do podcast uh, audio setup? <laughs> Yeah, right. We should probably send him to, to Key's house. I know. <laughs> but Wait a minute. Just, <laughs> but kudos to these kids. It's a great thing. I hope they continue it. And, you know, these older folks, you know, got, and I'm, I'm referring to people that are 15, 20 years older than us. We're, we're in our young 50s. And I don't know everything. Michael's always yelling at me, Dad, you're smarter than this. You could, you should be able to do this and this, that, and other. But he knows I'm going to call him anyway because he's going to help up, me. Junior, you young whippersnapper. That's, that's what kids do. <laughs> They're supposed to help their parents. Exactly. But these kids helping these, these uh, people to stay in touch with their families, there's nothing better out there right now uh, that feel good for me than to read this story. So I wanted to bring this up to you guys and bring it up to our audience. So glad you did help help your older folks with maybe a pain in the butt having to go over and fix something or do something but it means the world to them and it means the world to their families when they're able to stay in communication and it's so, going to mean the world to, to to you as young people i'm telling you absolutely I, listen i i'm so glad you brought that story up i see a cross-section of young people in this country that have no moral fortitude and huh. part of part of the reason is they've missed out on moments like this. A lot of school districts have cut out or don't do things like this. The reason why I'm so glad you brought this story up, I will never forget in the seventh grade, we all went to the same junior high. And uh, perhaps you all remember Miss Bunny Penny, uh mm -hmm. home teacher. Okay. Yes. Yep. Yes, yes. One Christmas, she took our home at class, uh, seven o'clock in the evening, to a retirement home in Barberton. Hmm. And we went there to make Christmas decorations hmm. with the uh, with the elderly there. I that was my first experience with anything like that, being in a place like that. Didn't know what to think. I will never forget the look on some of their faces, uh, the joy, the desperation to have company, to have someone to do something with besides sit there and look at each other all day. It was 
it was like they were just uh, inhaling us. And the short time we were there made an impact on my life. And I never forgot that. I never forgot what giving a little of your time to somebody can give. I found out at that age, the best gift you could ever give someone is your time and a piece of mm -hmm. yourself. That's when I yep. learned that lesson. So to hear about them kids doing that, yeah, it's something great for 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 the, 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 the elderly there. But you know what? It's great for those kids. And I hope most of them, if not all of them, will leave with something that they didn't know about before they got there that will stick with them the rest of their life and help form their life as far as how we treat people. Going to see my dad at the nursing home for the first time was the saddest thing I ever saw. People would, they would chase me to the elevator in their wheelchairs when I would go check my dad out to take him to dinner or whatever. Take me with you. They, they had nobody to come see him. We used to hear about, uh, this is so-and-so. Her kids don't come see her. She has no friends or whatever. Then that's sad, man. It's yeah. sad to not have anyone. So I think that's a great story. And I hope those kids get more out of it even than those uh, elderly people did. Hey, this is Skinner from it came from Gen X. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and like, and we'll see you next time.